What streets do ghosts live on? Dead ends. <laughs> Absolutely awful, I know. Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. A lot of people own Amazon Fire Sticks or Fire TV Cubes, and after time, you might notice they start to slow down. Whether it becomes slow when you're navigating around the homepage, or you might even get a bit of buffering. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a few different things you can do to speed your Fire Stick up, and also one app that you might find very useful. Right, so let's have a look. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Well, I am using a green screen. I've just clicked on. I'm wearing a green t-shirt. I've gone see-through. <laughs> right, so I've had to improvise a bit with a little box, but as you can see, I'm on a Fire Stick 4K Max at the moment, but it's going to look the same on any Amazon device. And what I will ask is comment down below what device it is that you use. So the first tips are going to be very basic, and then I'm going to show you some more that you can try. But well, first of all, when you turn off a Fire Stick, it literally just goes into sleep mode. It's not very often it reboots as fresh. Now, this can cause issues over time. And what you can do on your remote, simply click the play pause button and the middle button, the enter button, hold them in together, give it a few seconds, and then you'll see your Fire Stick is now powering off and it will restart or reboot. Now, this can be very helpful because there could be a lot of things running in the background you don't know about, things you've opened over time. And a nice little reboot, it can make a big difference. Another thing you can do as well is just unplug your Fire Stick. So turn off the power altogether, leave it unplugged for... 10 seconds or so then plug it back in now this has solved no end of problems for a lot of users although it seems very very basic a lot of people don't do it now another very very basic one but at the top here you see some featured content and as you can see it starts playing video playback and also you might have loud audio as well now this is continuously using resources and obviously when you're navigating around the home screen you might find it may slow it down a little bit but what you can do is go across to settings down and across to preferences and then down here you're going to see something called featured content once we click on this you can turn both of these off and it'll no longer play any trailers on your home screen it will still show the images as you can see here but it'll no longer start playing an ad now another thing you can do if we go across the settings once again, we've got a notification. I bet it's for music. Winds me up. Does it all the time. But if we go across to where it says applications and down to manage installed applications, it's going to show you the amount of storage available or internal space on your device. Now, obviously, when this becomes clogged up, it can start to make things run a little slower. So just make sure you go inside here and uninstall any apps you don't need or use. And another thing you can do as well is also clear the cache. So if I just go down to an application here, you can see two different options. One says press play pause to uninstall and one says press the rewind button to clear cache. If I click on that, it's going to delete this cache and it will free up over five megabyte of storage click on confirm it's done now we're not going to be too long now because it's starting to drag on a bit i do apologize but i'm trying to cover all bases once again if we go across to settings my fire tv you can click on where it says about and if you scroll down the page it says check for updates now a lot of people don't like updating their devices but i always update my devices personally I think it keeps it running as it should, and it also takes care of any bug fixes that are needed. Now, there are a couple of apps you can get as well to help optimize your Fire Stick's performance, and I'm going to show you a very, very easy one in a moment. But first of all, you can get something called Background Apps and Process List. When I start this up, it's going to show you what applications are running in the background on this device. So as you can see, I haven't got many apps installed on this device, but I've got seven apps running in the background. And I don't need that if I'm coming on simply to watch a movie or TV show inside one application. So what you can do is click on it. It'll take you inside applications, click on force stop. And when I click on back, you'll see it's now closed and no longer running in the background. You can do this for every app. And then obviously you're freeing up resources and it should run a little better. 
You can get the application from the Amazon App Store. Just go to the magnifying glass, click on search, start typing in background. You're going to see it there, background apps and process list. That's the app you want to install if you want that. Right, so the one other app you can use that you might prefer and it makes things very easy is if I just go across to Netflix one moment and open that up, you'll see it opens straight into a profile because it's already running in the background. And obviously, there's already a lot of Amazon processes running in the background as well. But if I go to my applications, there is an app called Fast Task Killer. And if I click on this... It's just going to come up. It's going to close a lot of things running in the background. Click on home. And I'm going to open up Netflix once again. And we should see a loading symbol because it's starting from fresh. So if I click on that, and then you're going to see Netflix is opening for the first time again. Now to get Fast Task Killer, it is a bit of a longer process. But first of all, you need to go to settings, down to My Fire TV, developer options. If you haven't got developer options on your device, I'll put a video in the top corner now how to get it. And where it says install unknown apps, turn it on for downloader. If you haven't already got downloader, it's available in the Amazon App Store. Simply click on search. Start typing in downloader, and there it is. So once we've got this, we're going to open up downloader. And if it is your first time using this application, make sure to allow any permissions. If you don't allow the permissions, you may see you have problems when you're trying to download things to your device. And then we're going to click on up and just type in let's crack on.org. Exact as you see it here. So let's, I'm not going to skip it because a lot of people have a go at me. So let's crack on dot org and once you've typed that in pause the video if you need to and click on go so once you're on the website you're going to see it says menu in the top left hand corner and then click on where it says downloads simply scroll down this page and you're going to see it says useful tools and essentials and then we're going to look for fast task killer here click on that then scroll down the page and you're going to see a gray download button here Click on that, and it's going to start downloading it to your device. I've already got it installed, but just follow the install prompts and ding dangly do. Once you've downloaded that to your device, make sure you click on delete and then delete again. If you don't and you click on done, if I go across the left-hand side and I click on where it says files, you're going to see it stores those APK files that are no longer needed. They're only the installation files. So click on the three line button and click on delete. Now that were one of those videos that feels very drawn out, very boring, but it's a very useful video for a lot of people. There's nothing more annoying when you, you sit down to watch a good movie or TV show and you're waiting forever because it's running slow as shit. But obviously you've also got to take into consideration the age of your device. If you're using a first gen Fire TV stick, it's going to be slow anyway. But if you're using a 4K Fire Stick or a Fire Stick Max, then you shouldn't be having those issues. And one thing I will say as well, if you don't like these long videos, I have started making videos on TikTok that are really short and you might find better to watch. So I will leave a link in the description down below to my TikTok if that's something you'd be interested in. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you're somebody that's having a lot of problems with buffering when you're trying to watch movies or TV shows, I'm going to put a video here that you might find useful. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Tere! What kind of streets do ghosts live on? Did I say ghosts, right? Ghosts. Why am I struggling to say that? <laughs> but if we go across... What was that? If we go across... <laughs> go down to manage installed applications. You're going to... It's... <laughs> oh, God.